Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share six makeup tips kind of slash hacks that I think you need to know. These are things that I've picked up throughout the years whether it was in my time in MAC or whether it was just when I started watching YouTube and playing with makeup or even in the last year. They're just things that I've figured out along the way that I think make my life so much easier make doing my makeup a nicer experience and just makes everything turn out better in the end. And yeah, I know some of you would probably find these very simple and obvious, but I think for any beginners watching my channel, you will hopefully find them very helpful and yeah, they'll just make your life easier when it comes to makeup. So let's get right into tip number one. Tip number one is one I have mentioned before and if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram as well you'll definitely have seen me talk about this and it is wetting your brush when using either a highlighter or a shimmery eyeshadow. This is so key if you like a really highlighted cheekbone or if you like your eyeshadow to pop. So for instance, if you use shimmery eyeshadows but you're finding that they're not coming out sparkly enough or glittery enough or they're not just looking bright enough on your eye, this is what you need to do. You need to wet your brush before you put it on and it'll intensify the colour. This is just such an easy way to enhance your makeup. I like to use MAC Fix Plus Spray for doing this but you can also just use water. It really doesn't matter but I would recommend to put it in some sort of a spray bottle like this but I'm pretty sure you can get these in like a pharmacy or you know drugstores over here like Dwayne Reed or any of those ones and yeah simply put water in even though I would recommend this product a lot it's so so good it's a great setting spray as well and it's lovely to spray on your skin before you do your makeup so it's a multi-purpose product and yeah I just find this brilliant for wetting my brushes and it's just convenient so yeah that is tip number one tip number two is a funny one but it's honestly something that has made my life so so much easier when doing my eye makeup. It's not something I do every day, but for a night out or if I'm in a rush, I will always do this. And it is use tape. Yes, I'm being serious, tape. So what you need to do is cut a little line of tape and put it underneath your lash line, going up towards the top of your brow. It sounds complicated guys, but it's not. And this will simply allow you to be less careful when blending your eyeshadow and gives you that perfect line that you're kind of looking for. It's also amazing as well for eyeliner. So I leave it there for the whole eye process. I leave it there for the eyeshadow and the eyeliner and you have your flick thin straight away. All you have to do is pull off the tape and it's perfect. You don't have to worry about your eyeliner going all over the place or anything like that. You can be as messy as you want and this will save your life. So yeah, I use this tape, which I'll be honest, I don't know where it came from. I found it in a drawer at home. People always ask me, is this like special tape, but it's not. I'm sure there are proper beauty tapes, but to be honest, I'd say you can use anything. Um, I'm sure sellotape does the job as well. So yeah, this is something that I would highly recommend trying if you find it hard to get your eye makeup perfect and you want that really sleek cut look. Um, if you don't want that cut look, you'd rather something more blended, I probably wouldn't do this, but as I said, it's great for the eyeliner too. So even try it for just the eyeliner if you don't want to do it for the eyeshadow as well. Tip number three is one that I'm not sure if it's quite obvious to most people, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I think it's important, and it is to do with concealer. My tip for concealer is to go down two shades from your foundation. So say for instance, if you use shade three in foundation, go down to shade one in the concealer, say if you do get that concealer in that brand as well. Otherwise, if you get it in a different brand, bring your foundation with you when you're buying it and just make sure that the concealer is lighter. This is great for highlighting and concealing at the same time. So you don't have to buy two different products. So for instance, I always buy the lightest concealer in the shop because I'm pale. But say if you are darker than me, you'll just go down two shades. Yes, as I said, this will highlight underneath your eye for you. You can use it down your nose and you won't have to be putting on a concealer and then a highlighter over the product. I really hope this is making sense, but yes, this is just great for doing two things in one. It just makes your face look a little bit more structured as well instead of having the same color all over. And I know it can be a little bit scary when you put it on first because it looks way lighter than the rest but I promise you it does blend out and it blends out really really nicely. Tip number four is one that I actually picked up when I was working in MAC and it is using a cold pencil instead of a dark eyeshadow. So if you like to have your corners a little bit darker but you find it really hard and time consuming to build up a dark color in that corner, this is a great trick and you'll love it. It's also super quick and easy. For instance, tonight I did it and I didn't do a very intense look tonight but 
it only took me two minutes, I'm not even joking. I put on a transition colour, I put on a sparkly colour on the lid, and then I put this into the corner, which is just a cold pencil. This one is just from Rimmel. You can get the most places. It's basically just like a soft black pencil, but they come in loads of colours. And yeah, I just put a tiny bit of this into the corner of my eye, and then I blended it out with a blending brush. And it honestly took hardly no time whatsoever. And it gave me that dark, deep corner effect without having to build up a dark brown eyeshadow for 10 minutes and blend, blend, blend. It's just really easy and quick if you're someone that likes to run out to work in the morning but still have your eyes looking quite nice. This will be the perfect trick for you. Tip number five is to do with eyelashes. I actually think I will do a whole different video on eyelashes and how to apply them and what I find the easiest way is. Um, I'm not like sure if that's something that you'd like to see so let me know in the comments below if you would like that and I will get around to it. But I have to include this tip in today's hacks because it's a really good tip that I've learned throughout the years and it is when you are applying eyelashes, make sure to leave the glue dry first. Did you ever try and apply eyelashes and they literally slid all over your eyes, ruined your eye makeup and you just wanted to forget about going out and take all your makeup off? Yes, we have all been there, it is horrible. So what you have to do is put the eyelash glue on the eyelash and leave it get tacky. So leave it get to like that kind of gloopy texture, if you know what I mean, that sounds so bad. But anyway, leave it get to that and when you stick it on your eye then, it'll allow you to move it around but it won't be slidey. And by doing that, it'll allow you to stick on the eyelash in place but it'll also let you wiggle it around and move it into the perfect position but without being completely slidey and horrible and watery. Trust me, this is such a good tip and it'll change your life when applying eyelashes. I also think it's a good tip as well to use a tweezers. Don't just use your fingers, especially if you have long nails like me. Use a tweezers, they will help you so, so much. And guys, that brings me to our last tip of the night. Uh, it is tip number six and it is applying a lip liner all over your lip before your lipstick. If you are someone that finds your lipstick does not last, it comes off after your first meal or your first cup of coffee or whatever else, this is the perfect trick for you. You need to get a lip liner. I know some people think you do not need a lip liner, but you honestly do. And what I do is put a lip liner all over my lips before I apply the lipstick and it honestly lasts me from the minute I leave the house to the minute I come home that night. It may not be perfect, but it'll still be there and it won't look like I have had three meals or whatever else I've had during the day. Lip liners last so much better on your lips, thin lipsticks, because they're just made to do that, I suppose. And yeah, it'll honestly save you so much time redoing your lips all day and you will thank me for that one. Uh, my favorite lip liners are the MAC ones, I'm not gonna lie. They're not that expensive though. They're about 17 euro, but they last you so, so long if you look after them and don't lose them. But of course you can get lip liners in the drugstore or the chemist or whatever else. I think Rimmel does quite good ones or L'Oreal. So just try that maybe next time you're having trouble with your lipstick staying on and I bet you it'll help you out. I really hope that you found this video helpful guys and you liked the little tricks and tips that I went through. I would love to know if any of you tried those tips out or tried those hacks that I went through and found them to be helpful or found them useful or made your makeup life easier. That would make my day. So definitely let me know. You can comment below or tweet me or snap me or whatever else. I'll leave my handle down below for all my social medias and they're always at the end of my video as well. So yeah, definitely let me know. And yeah, as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe please to my channel. I would absolutely love that. Today is actually my one year anniversary on YouTube and it's not gonna be going off for another few days, but yeah, it's crazy to think that I've been on here a year. I still remember the first night I filmed. It took me like three hours to film the video and I was so nervous putting it up. I was sweating and it was just such a daunting thing, but I am so, so glad that I did it now. YouTube has brought me so much joy this year. It's just great to do something that you're really passionate about and that you really enjoy. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed the year with me and hopefully there's more to come as well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.